Hi everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to my interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Michael Altshore from Florida. Hi Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing great Meher, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for being here. So Michael is a speaker, a peak performance and sales expert and job gladiator, I like that part helping individuals and teams get better results, and most recently an author. He published his book in October 2021, Get Hired, Land Your Dream Job, Inside Secrets from Americans' Top Recruiters and Hiring Managers on what it really takes to get hired. So Michael, my first question for you is, from your book, can you tell us top three or four things that you discovered or there was an interesting or aha moment from you that those are the things that recruiters or hiring managers are looking in a candidate? Yeah, I'll tell you kind of the aha moment was that there was no aha moment. Okay. And, and, and that's kind of interesting. So it's, uh, you know, success leaves clues. Yes. So I thought, you know, as a career coach myself, among other things, I thought that if I went directly to the experts, the yes. folks who have the ability to say yes or no to you getting the job or not getting it, yeah. I mean, this is, it's kind of the holy grail. I mean, yeah. they've, they've hired collectively tens of thousands of people and have not hired tens of thousands of people. Yeah. So it's kind of like peeling back the curtain mm -hmm. and going right to the source, getting inside your head and saying, okay, what are the real things you look for? Yes. And what I found was, and I thought I would really, and not that I know it all, because certainly I don't, but it validated most importantly what I always knew, and that there's basic fundamentals and principles, mm -hmm. universal laws, simple truths that apply that if you want a job, they all believe certain things are absolutely necessary. Yeah. Now, there were some things off the wall, but I would say for the benefit of the listeners, that they focus on, there's so many core things that you have to do right. And the more you amplify those core things and the more you focus, the more time and energy you put on those, the more you're going to increase your chances, your odds yeah. of A, uh, getting more interviews, B, landing more interviews, and C, getting more offers. So in that sense, there wasn't anything new in the hiring process. You apply, you customize your resume, and the recruiters will check your resume if either yes or no and then you prepare for your interview and they will and then you do the interview and then what yeah happens? yeah I, I think you know if you if i look back i started i have a podcast show called get hired with john gladiator and the book which i have here was really a a um, compilation of all those interviews that i did on my podcast show like this yeah. So I asked them questions. I had a dialogue like we're having right now. Yes. And so what preceded the book were really the questions that I asked on the podcast show. And I, one of the things that was a little surprising, I didn't realize how much, uh, what high percentage they all look at LinkedIn profiles. Mm -hmm. That that could be a disqualifier right away. Another thing that was maybe a little surprising was uh, that, most of the applicants that come into them are not properly prepared. Okay. And I didn't know that because I'm not hiring lots of people. So yeah. I, I had no way of knowing that other than them telling me, no, I can't believe how many folks come to interviews mm -hmm. ill-prepared. I'm thinking, well, how would you, wh why would you do that? Yes. Are you going to wing it? If you're having a heart surgery, do you want your cardiologist to like look at an x-ray or an MRI before they do, say, he's going to come in and say, or she's going to come in and say, you know, let's just wing this thing. I'll take a look <laughs> once I get in there. No, yeah. you want them to do the research. Yes. It gives a higher probability of success. Yes. The same thing holds true with anything we do. Preparation is key. Yeah. Those are great tips. Thank you, Michael. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Michael a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So kind of a journey for the whole week. You can like all the videos, share them, make comments. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Michael.